Hello, everybody. Welcome again to Elevating Your Life. So happy to have you joining us today. I am really excited to share a beautiful young lady with, with everyone today. We have with us Alyssa Londonio. She lives in New York with her husband, two beautiful children, and cat Toby, and I bet he's <laughs> adorable. Alyssa's passion for writing started as a young girl. She has always been an avid reader, which inspired her to want to create her own stories, one she wanted out in the world. She's been an elementary school teacher for 11 years. Thank you, thank you. And her teaching background has helped her study children's literature, in addition to all the hours reading to her two children. This helped her to continue to foster her passion for reading and writing. And she is the author of this fantastic book, Love is Everywhere, a diary about seeing everyday love. I just love it. It's it's just such a beautiful book. Well, first thank off, thank you, Alyssa. Thank you so much for being on the show. Well, thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Oh, I love it. I love it. Well, um, I just love your book. I've already bought copies for grandchildren and friends, and it's so beautiful. I, I would love to know, uh, you know, what prompted you to write this book? Tell tell us about what brought you to, to where you were in, in creating this beautiful book. Sure. Well, the seed idea actually began from the love between a mother and a daughter. My mom and I have always been close uh, growing up. My mom was a single mom raising me. So she was always mom and dad. <laughs> um, and then we grew to become best friends, which really like pushed me to make this story. Um, and then I had my own children, which even more, I was like, wow. Um, but then the story changed and um, began to become more about seeing joy and love in everyday things, as opposed to the bond between a mother and a daughter. Um, when my mom was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, um, I really saw a different side of her that, you know, being a daughter, you don't always see your mom in that, in the different lights. Cause they, you know, you shield your children from things. Mm -hmm. Um, but she just found joy in everything, no matter if it was a chemo day or radiation, or it was just the little things like jumping in the puddles in the rain or, um, you know, such things that I think we take for granted sometimes because life is busy and we celebrate those big occasions like Christmas and, or Hanukkah or, you know, all of these big events. Whereas for her, it was more about those small things, like taking a big overflowing bubble bath. Like that was her thing. And so she made me slow down and really look and appreciate those things that I think I was skipping and overlooking. Um, and really I got to do a lot of like self-reflection. And so I actually finished the book. I, I would take my laptop, uh, to chemotherapy and she would read, she's a big romance novel reader. Um, oh <laughs> she would read her romance novels while I would write my manuscript and I would bounce ideas off of her. And, um, then she passed away from pancreatic cancer and everything kind of shut down. Like I was like, I don't know if I can keep, keep writing. Like it was kind of just, it was her, it was like our thing. And then she wasn't there. So it was like, how do I keep doing this? Um, and then I took some time to really grieve and, and I was able to get back into it. And it was almost like a way of me still being connected to her, being able to finish the manuscript and, being able to just like be in it. And uh, so it was a really great coping mechanism as, as well. Yeah. Um, and then I got to dedicate the book to her. So that was really amazing for me as well <laughs> to continue her legacy because she has an amazing legacy. Yeah. And I was just so touched when, when I read that the book was dedicated to your mother, that, that just, that's really special. What a special feeling that must've been for you. Yes. And, you know, it's just like your mom is like your first best friend. So 
she really was the one who, in, who taught me how to love, like just how to be genuine, how to appreciate things. And you can never say thank you enough. So. <laughs> yes. Yes. And, you know, you share such great little, you know, perspectives in the book, because really, you know, what, what you just mentioned, those little things, there are so many little things in our lives, mm-hmm. you know, that can make us happy. And it's individual for everybody. It can be, you know, jumping in a mud puddle or looking at a sunset, but all those little things are amazing gifts to us and bring us joy and happiness and love in our life. And it's just beautiful how you share so many beautiful little stories about everyday love because it's out there. Yes. Yes. And like that, I think that was the biggest thing for me is that I want my children to see it and experience it. And I think sometimes we just forget. And it's crazy when I was writing and specifically that part of the book, um, I really was able to like reflect and think like, what are the things that we celebrate and that I, that I appreciate so much. And those are the things that came out of it. Like the smell of fresh cut roses, you know, it's, it's something so small, but it's, it's, it's important. And and it brings laughter and puts a smile on your face. So, you know, and I just think it's so important the the universal theme of love, that's just so important. And so I feel like, you know, in our world today, we just need to have love and appreciate these things. It's just mm-hmm. makes everything better. <laughs> yes. Yes. And your, your various discussions of the meaning of love, because it, it can have multiple meanings when you right. say so many, because there are so many pieces of love out there for us, it can have many meanings. Right. Yeah. Like, is it, the person you love? Is it something you love? Yeah. There's so many different ways you can interpret love. And as I've been doing, um, I've been doing author visits to schools, which has been so nice. How fun. Um, Oh my God. I just did a pre-K on yesterday, actually. And just seeing the little kids, like their faces light up and them asking me, oh, I, I thought that too. Like, I didn't even know that. Or and it just, it, it warms my heart so much. Cause I'm like, this is why I wrote the book. And this is why I wanted to share this and put it out into the world because, you know, it's, it's just so nice and that it resonates with kids so little. And, and then I had a, fr- a friend and she's a teacher upstate New York. And she texted me today and said, um, she works with a, like a remediation English class. So there's all different levels. Some of them are lower level and they need picture books and some are higher level and they'll have chapter books. Um, And she said that one little boy keeps taking my book to read during his independent reading time. And she's like, it's just amazing that he connected with the book so much that he wants to read it multiple times. And, you know, things like that are just like, wow, that's so powerful and so important. Yes. And I, you know, I can see children everywhere and I've, I've even given a copy of your book to a dear little girl that I just love in Cabo, Mexico, oh. that I go visit. Uh, and children everywhere, they, you know, they can, I can just see them sitting in their bedroom or sitting in a chair or going through this book. And just, wow, I, I am surrounded by love. There is love around me. And I hope that also children can see themselves in the book because that was a big thing for me. Um, My daughter, so my husband is Colombian and El Salvadorian. And so my daughter has this beautiful caramel skin and this crazy wild brown hair. And so (laughs) I I mimic the main character based off of her um, because I felt as a teacher, you know, a lot of the time there weren't as many diverse books or books where my students, I worked in a title one school where my students were like, Oh, that's me. So I I also felt really empowered that like, Oh, I can put my daughter in this book and I can show kids that like this little girl is just like you. Um, 
And so that was really cool too, because when I was at the period school, they're like, oh, that looks like me and things like that. So it means a lot for kids all over to be able to connect with the main character and for them to really, you know, connect with the the theme and the story yeah. and the lesson, um, because it is so powerful and important. Yes. Now, is there a particular uh, part in the book uh, or theme that was kind of your favorite that that really have it at the heartstrings. Do you have a, a favorite theme in there? Um, I don't know about a favorite theme, but I definitely think that I had, um, I was very specific with my illustrator. I'm like, there are a couple pages that like mean so much to me. Um, and especially the, the last, one of the last pages that says like my mom's voice home. Like, because I, I feel like that kind of, was the core of what this whole journey for me was, was it what started with my mom. So I kind of brought it full circle for me and it like ends with my mom. Um, so that was just such a really important and powerful part for me. And I know dads are amazing and there are all different types of parents. And I totally, but for me, my mom was just like my person. And, um, and I think there are a lot of kids that feel that way, that they have that one person in their life that they can always rely on and, you know, fall back to. So that part was just kind of really like resonated with me and was the mo- like one of the most important things. So I would have to say that page. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So what brought you to decide to do this? I mean, was it just you wanted to get this message out? Yeah, I think, um, so I've always, I have written so many manuscripts um, and I actually just joined another critique group where, you know, we kind of just pass around manuscripts and we give each other feedback. Um, So I've always been writing and I've always had different manuscripts that I played around with the idea of getting published and, um, possibly going further with them but like none of them really gave me that like fire right like I was never like oh this is the one this is the one and then once I wrote this one and it it really helped me to heal um through my grief and it really helped me to be okay um Mm -hmm. I was like this is the one like I need to put it out there and I also just felt like it was just a a nice time in in like our world and in life that I could add more love out there. Mm-hmm. Um, and then like kids could still just be kids because I feel like sometimes our kids are growing up so fast and I'm like, just yeah. stay little. Uh, so, you know, and this book is really just the core of like innocence. Like what is love? Like a little kid just asking um, who don't, who they don't know these things. And it's so genuine and innocent. So it really, this book really like connected with me and I felt that it needed to be out in the world. And yeah. I, I did, I did it. <laughs> oh, and you know, I, I can only imagine how that made you feel when you first finished this book, got it published and held it in your hand. There, there's just nothing like it. Is there? our first book no it was and it was like so surreal to be like oh this is my book and then you know every night I read to my children before bed we have a nighttime routine and I'm like we're gonna read mommy's book tonight like that's just (laughs) such a crazy thing to say like yeah we're gonna read mommy's book um but it was just so it's just so nice and it's also just been we've got, I've been getting so many positive reviews and people telling me how much they love it. And it just makes me so happy. And again, like the fact that I can continue my mom's legacy and in a beautiful way, it's just something that, you know, I could never take for granted. It's such an amazing feeling. Yeah. And, and your book really is a way of sharing love. It really is. I mean, you you can't read it and not feel loved and (laughs) <laughs> I know, even just the the pictures make like the illustrations and the colors it really just warm like when I read it I'm like oh I'm like giddy okay. I know I'm biased but <laughs> so so I'm curious because these illustrations and pictures are absolutely amazing 
How was yeah. it you found your illustrator? Was what brought, you know, and what brought you to the idea? I want to have an illustrator make these special pictures. How'd that all come about? So my publisher, um, he actually, him and I had sat down for so many different meetings and um, Zoom meetings. <laughs> and we went through pages and like he went through my manuscript and we talked things out. And then once we got to that stage, we were like, we were ready. He sent me a whole bunch of different um, portfolios and I was looking through them and looking through them and I, I just wasn't connecting with a lot of them. And I I don't know what it was, but then he sent me this portfolio, John's portfolio. And um, I met with John via Zoom also. And I think he lives in Wisconsin. Is I'm, I'm, I hope I'm saying it right. Or is it Washington? No, I think it's Wisconsin. <laughs> so we were on Zoom. Um, and, you know, I, I explained to him about my mom and like my message. And I just wanted to make sure he understood, you know, how important this book was to me. And um, I wanted to include her handwriting. So in the first, in the front pages in the back, it's my mom's handwriting. Wow. She actually had done that for someone else, like one of his um family members. He was like, oh, I just did like, I think he did a tattoo for her or something like in someone's handwriting. And all of a sudden I'm like, it all clicked. The stars like aligned for me. I'm like, this was meant to be. <laughs> um, and, now, and then after that, I'm like, I just trusted him and he, I gave him, you know, inspirations for different things I would want possibly. And he just like flew with it. He did such an amazing job. And I, I just couldn't even believe it when he sent me the, the first sketches and then I'm like, oh my goodness, how is this possible? Like, so he has so much talent and the way he, he met with me, he talked to me, he saw my kids, he saw pictures and then he took that and turned it into illustrations. Like it was just unreal. So <laughs> yeah, isn't that awesome? You know, you connect the true with the perfect yeah. person to, you know, illustrate your beautiful messages. Yes, exactly. Ah, uh, uh, I I would love to see this book in the hands of every child, of every everybody. I'm actually I have several students in Africa that oh, wow. that I work with from a, a um, amazing mission trip I went on years ago with my son and wow. I'm going to be uh sending some copies to a couple different oh that's amazing I so love that so much in Africa. <laughs> I love oh that's amazing yeah oh what amazing work that's truly so great oh wow. love is everywhere love yeah. is everywhere oh my gosh well, do you see yourself, you know, you've written this amazing, beautiful, heartwarming book. Do you see yourself writing another book down the road? Um, I do. I, I I love writing so much. And I think, um, so as I said, I've written uh, several manuscripts and I think I'm just waiting for the next one that feels done, <laughs> done, done, if that's even possible or like ready to be out there. Um so yes, I would, I would love to, and I do want to just continue putting books out there for kids and to enjoy and to be able to share, um, and hopefully soon, yeah. <laughs> but it's definitely a process. <laughs> yes. Yes. And the fact that, you know, you teach elementary school students, you are with these children, you know, right. for so many hours. You know, you feel their energy, get to know them. You can, you know, know what's, you know, going to really come yeah. to them. And, you know, that that gives you a, a, a step up. It really does that time. It's so true. And I think just like being a teacher, you're able to also just see like the needs of um, other teachers. So something that I really put in my book was adding adjectives just so like I embedded them so the teachers could use that to make it a teachable moment or yes. show kids like this is how we describe things and um even at the lowest level but introducing it so 
I, that was something that was also really important to me that the book could be used academically as well as for pleasure because mm-hmm. you know both of those things are really important and as a teacher wow. when I get a book that's the first thing I look like how can I use this in my classroom what can what lessons can I base off of it so that was something that was really important to me as well oh that is so amazing that is so beautiful I was 27 years in the restaurant industry running oh, a wow. restaurant and then buying it but when my kids were little, I remodeled my garage and I opened a daycare. So I would oh, wow. do daycare from 5.30 in the morning and I had a full-time employee, five in the afternoon, and then go to work at the restaurant. <laughs> oh my goodness. But somebody one time was saying, really, you're doing daycare? And I, and I said to them, that's one of the most important jobs there is, I felt, because I'm with those children, so playing, much. doing things caring about them. I mean, you know, teachers, yeah. anyone that works with children, I just, I value them so much and have so much gratitude. It's so true. And like, you're with those children sometimes more than their parents for more time during the day, mm-hmm. because you know, by the time kids get home from school, they're eating dinner, doing homework, taking a shower, going to bed. Like yeah. it's very, <laughs> you see your teachers and especially in a daycare. Oh my goodness. You see these little yeah. kids for so long that yes. that's so important. You make such an impression on them, which it was is- so special. And every Christmas I gave the parents a photo album of oh, how I had sweet. taken throughout the year. It was so fun. <laughs> that's so thoughtful. I would love that as a parent. Oh, I can see oh. your book in daycares. I just love it. Well, I'm really excited that, that you're going to be writing some more books because oh, you really okay. You, you have a talent, you have heart. It's, I'm just, I'm just in love with this book. I just oh, <laughs> want to share. I appreciate it. No, it means so much to me. Cause you know, you never know when you create something and you put it out there. Not everyone is going to love it or you hope everyone is, but you just mm-hmm. don't know. So especially because this book means so much to me, I really just wanted to make sure that kids would love it. Adults would want it for their kids. So you know, it was, it was a lot. It was, it, but I'm so happy that it, people have been loving it and kids most importantly have been really just responding so well to it that it's been amazing. <laughs> yes. yes. And, and that's just, and it's such a message to, to all of us everywhere, you know, um, to know we, you know, if, if you really have, you know, had a goal or a passion to write a book, and you wanted to do that for a long time, but haven't, take those steps, do it. You know, we all have our own beautiful, special message. Yes. And what an accomplishment to, to create that and get that done. I I just, I support authors. I just think it's, it's a gift that you're sharing with everyone. (laughs) Thank you. No, and you're so right because everyone has something special and and important and unique to share. So it's just, I went, I um, did an author visit with a fourth grade class and one of the little boys in his thank you card to me wrote, um, like you made me want to write my own book. And I'm like, oh, I hope he really gosh. does write his own book yes. one day. Like that's so important is that these kids have dreams and aspirations yes. and that they push to do that because, you know, that's that's something you to support that. Yes. yes. When I was in junior high and high school, I loved English class. And I always said, I'd love to write a book. It took till I was 60 to do it, <laughs> but I did it. I got it done and it just won a gold medal. I oh, mean, it amazing. just shows you that, you know, anytime we can do that you right. know, and take that step. You're it's a great true. example of that. And And you as well. (laughs) Oh, thank you, honey. And putting out such beautiful words and beautiful message. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) Well, um, Alyssa, is there, we're down to a few more minutes. Please share with everyone your website address and, you know, whatever last message you'd like to give to us today. This is a pleasure. Oh, thank you. No, and thank you so much for having me on because this has just been such a special time. And I'm just so happy that I was able to connect with you and share this with you. Um, 
My website is a Londono, L-O-N-D-O-N-O, 0612.com. <laughs> and my um, Instagram is author.alondano, again, the same last name, L-O-N-D-O-N-O. -O. Um, and then my Twitter is <laughs> at a l o n d o n o zero six one two and then Facebook is just author dot Alyssa Londano l o n d o n o love it love it and I'm just I'm just hoping that everyone goes out gets the book and that they share it with someone they love because that's what it's all about <laughs> yeah yeah because it's it's really great to you know, have a, have a reminder of, of how much love there is and the love is everywhere. It really is. Sometimes we yeah. can get so focused in life and the mind chatter and everything we get off track and love is everywhere. It is all around us. And in, in so many things, and we all have our little, I call them, you know, happiness triggers, whatever, you know, little things in our life that we love to do and love sharing or, you know, and yeah. we, and I just think like appreciating those little things and wow. really making sure we don't overlook it and just taking the time because I know our lives are just so busy, but being yeah. able to just stop and reflect and, yeah. you know, that's just so important. Yes. Give ourselves that, that love, that fun, mm -hmm. you know, because life is in the moment that we're at. You know, exactly. It's, it's great to have goals, desires, but right now is the moment that memories are made. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't have said it better. That's so perfect. Exactly. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Now, Alyssa, when you write your next book, please stay in contact with me oh. and let me know. I'll be excited to read it oh, and share you. it with everyone. And thank everybody, you. it's love is everywhere. So you've got to check it out. A story yes, about seeing everyday love. Perfect description. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. And thank you for having this. It's so much fun. Oh, thank you so much. Everybody out there, love, hugs, and blessings. And uh, just to let you know, if it, the show is not only on KMET AM radio, it is also on KMET television as well as YouTube, you can get all the information on where you can watch and hear the show um, further at uh, wellnessinspired.com, my website. And feel free to message me anytime with input or questions about the show. Big hugs to everybody. Have a wonderful day. Love, hugs, and blessings. Alyssa, love, hugs, and blessings. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Yay. Love is everywhere. <laughs> yes. Here's to a lovely day. <laughs>